Hey viewers. I'm Dr. Sophia Fahl and welcome to Lovers of Good Health channel. In today's video, we will be looking at what happens to your body when you get a stroke. But before we begin kindly use some of the time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. We all have health scares at a certain point in our life. Just hope it's never a stroke. A stroke is a medical emergency that requires quick treatment. Early action can reduce brain damage and other complications. If untreated it will hurt your movement, speech, emotional health or brain function and in some cases a stroke could also cause death. In today's video we'll discuss what happens to your body when you get a stroke. What's the impact on your nervous system? How are the muscles affected? We will discuss all of this and more. Also known as brain attack, a stroke is as serious as heart disease. Most often stroke occurs when blood flow to the brain stops. This happens when the flow is interrupted preventing brain tissue from getting oxygen and nutrients. Brain cells get damaged and can die if left without oxygen even for a few minutes. A stroke can potentially affect several parts of your body. Well after the event is over the brain is an extremely complex organ that controls your body functions. If a stroke occurs and blood flow can't reach the region that controls a particular function, that part of the body won't work as well. For instance, if the stroke occurs at the back of the brain, your vision will probably be affected. A stroke depends on the location of the clot and the amount of brain tissue affected, but because one side of the brain controls the opposite side of the body. A stroke affecting one side will result in neurological complications on the side of the body it affects. The best chance of reducing damage caused by a stroke is to get medical treatment as fast as possible. Long-term symptoms and recovery time will depend on what areas of the brain were hit. Here's what happens to different parts of your body after a stroke. Number 1. Respiratory System Stroke is the third leading cause of death in the United States. Breathing issues are quite common. After one has occurred the nature of the respiratory disorder depends upon the severity and side of the injury these disorders can be caused by the weakening of respiratory muscles and chest movements. The loss of muscular synergy will stop you from breathing as easily as you did. A recent study found that after 36 hours of hospitalization 15% of stroke patients had acute lung injury. And 8% of those patients developed pneumonia or bronchitis acute respiratory distress syndrome. Also occurs in stroke patients, this is accompanied by trouble swallowing as well as gastrointestinal issues. Do you know any effective home remedies to deal with respiratory issues? Sound off in the comments section and start a conversation with our lovers of good health community. Number 2. Circulatory system also known as the cardiovascular system. This part of your body is greatly damaged when stroke happens it includes three individual systems that need to work hand in hand. These are the lungs, the heart and the systemic. Our brain regulates all bodily functions cardiovascular control is no exception. The effects of a stroke on the circulatory system can be very serious sometimes they are even fatal. Studies show that within days following a stroke, heart problems are more likely to occur. I'm not just talking about a heart attack there's also congestive heart failure, abnormal rhythms, and cardiac. Arrest to worry about irregular heart rhythms can cause blood clots. These clots move into the bloodstream, if they reach the coronary artery, they could cause a heart attack. If they reach the brain, they can cause another stroke. Chemicals released into the bloodstream after a stroke will hurt the heart. Feel like you're missing out? Make sure you join our viewers by hitting that subscribe button and staying up to date on all of our great health content. Number 3. Muscular System Depending on the area of the brain damage to stroke can hurt different muscle groups. 
The severity varies from person to person and usually requires rehabilitation to improve. The brain controls both involuntary and voluntary muscle activities. This is done by sending neural signals to the muscles. These messages originate in the motor cortex found in the frontal lobe of the brain. The motor cortex transmits signals to the spinal cord where they reach the motor neurons. These neurons fire allowing the impulse to travel to a specific muscle telling it to either contract or relax. When this process is disrupted by a stroke it can cause harmful changes in muscle function. Hypertonia low muscle tone and muscle atrophy are some of the muscular issues related to stroke. Stroke is the leading cause of paralysis. About 34% of paralyzed people have suffered a stroke. Approximately 80% of people who have had a stroke have to deal with hemoparesis. This is the inability to move on one side of your body. About 20 to 40% of stroke survivors experience some form of muscle spasticity. This is when your muscles feel really tight. When you suffer a stroke, the ability for your muscles to perform is limited. Number 4. Nervous System. The nervous system comprises the brain network of nerves and the spinal cord. This system is responsible for sending signals back and forth from your body to your brain. When the brain is damaged from a stroke, these messages are not transmitted accurately. You may find it more painful to perform your usual activities. This could be cooking, cleaning or basic movement anything you regularly did before the stroke. This happens because the brain might not understand the sensations the way it did earlier. You may also see changes in your vision if the stroke has hit the part of your brain that communicates with the eyes. The issues might include loss of vision, losing one side of vision, or problem with moving your eyes. There can also be processing problems. This shows you that the brain is not getting the right information from the eyes. There's an overlap between the area of the brain and their function. Foot drop is a common type of weakness and paralysis brought on by a stroke. This situation makes it difficult for the person to lift the front part of the foot. You might have to drag your toes along the ground while walking or bend at the knee to lift the foot higher this will keep it from dragging. This is usually because of the nerve damage caused by the stroke. It may improve with rehabilitation. Damage to the right side of the brain can cause loss of attention, focus, and memory issues. You may also have trouble recognizing faces or objects even if they are familiar. It can also result in behavioral changes like impulsiveness and depression. If the stroke damages the left side of the brain you may have difficulty speaking and understanding language. Not only that, but memory problems, trouble organizing in poor speech. Did you know stroke is a major risk factor for the development of epilepsy, especially in the elderly? Number five, digestive system. During the early days of your recovery, you're not going to be as active as you usually are. You'll be prescribed multiple types of medicine. Constipation is a common side effect of some painkillers. You'll also have problems drinking certain liquids. Stroke is the most common cause of neurological dysphagia. This is a fancy word for trouble swallowing. Up to 50 of patients with stroke have been said to have dysphagia bladder and bowel movements are common after a stroke. If you lose consciousness during your stroke, you could soil yourself without even knowing. A stroke will also damage the parts of your brain that controls your bladder or bowel. Pee retention can also happen soon after a stroke this is when you have trouble peeing. As you can probably tell strokes are serious. Did you know that there are different kinds of strokes? Each has a different effect on your body the symptoms and treatment can vary based on the type of stroke and its severity. Some people recover completely while others have a disability. Seek immediate medical attention if you notice any signs or symptoms of a stroke even if they seem to disappear quickly. Here's what you need to know. 
Do you or anyone you know suffer from a stroke? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for your time, and see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more contents like this one. Bye for now. Hey viewers. I'm Dr. Sophia Fahl and welcome to Lovers of Good Health channel. In today's video, we will be going through what drinking too much can do to your body. But before we begin kindly use some of the time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. Almost 85% of adults report drinking alcohol at some point in their life. If you're having a glass of wine every now and then you're in the right place. An occasional drink usually doesn't hurt it's heavy binge drinking that can impact your body, and I mean badly. In today's video we'll discuss the effect alcohol has on different parts of your body. What happens to your brain after drinking booze, what about the liver? We're talking about all this and more so watch until the end. Alcohol and the brain. Booze starts to affect you pretty quickly. It reaches your brain in only 5 minutes and starts to affect your functioning within 10 minutes. Slurred speech, delayed reaction, bad vision and impaired memory are all signs that booze is affecting your brain. If you're an occasional drinker this kind of impairment will quickly resolve once the drinking stops. But if you're consistently boozing the signs may progress even when you're sober. Up to 80% of alcoholics have a deficiency in theamine and some people go on to develop disorders like Korsakoff syndrome. This is a disease that includes symptoms like confusion, paralysis of the eye nerves, and difficulty with muscle coordination. Alcohol affects the part of your brain that controls how your body functions. This impacts your actions, decision-making, skills and ability to stay in control. Excessive alcohol also influences your mood and can make you feel aggressive. Remember alcohol doesn't kill brain cells, but it does interrupt the connection between neurons. If you drink for a long time alcohol can lead to shrinkage of the brain and stop you from remembering certain details. Do you like having a couple pops now and then do you like to get a little too tipsy? Sound off in the comment section and start a conversation with our lovers of good health community. Alcohol and the liver. When you drink your liver has to process it. The process is not an easy one. The impact of alcohol on your liver depends on how much you drink. Your liver filters the blood and breaks down 90% of the alcohol into carbon dioxide, calories, and other products the body uses for energy. Your liver can only break down alcohol at an average rate of one standard drink per hour. People who drink frequently are at risk of developing liver problems if left unchecked. This can be fatal. Too much alcohol in just a short period can overwhelm the metabolism process and lead to fatty liver. It's a chronic condition that involves the buildup of bad fats in the liver. Type 2 diabetes and liver failure are also associated with alcohol consumption. Long-term alcohol exposure can lead to alcoholic liver disease, alcoholic hepatitis, cirrhosis, and fibrosis are other serious liver problems that come with excessive boozing. Alcohol and the kidneys. Drinking alcohol affects several parts of your body including the kidneys. Having a drink or two usually has no serious effect, but going too hard can lead to kidney disease. The job of the kidneys is to filter out harmful substances, one of these substances is alcohol. If you're consistently drinking your kidneys, have to work harder. Alcohol causes your kidneys to function differently making them less likely to filter the blood. Binge drinking has harmful effects on the kidneys and can even lead to acute kidney failure. Alcohol increases urination processes. When you drink you need to pee more often, this leads to thirst and dehydration. Too much alcohol can also affect your blood pressure. People who drink too much are more likely to have high blood pressure. High blood pressure is a common cause of kidney disease. 
Alcohol in the pancreas. The pancreas is a huge part of your digestive process. It helps regulate your body's glucose levels. Drinking alcohol over several years can negatively impact your pancreas and cause lasting health problems. Frequent alcohol consumption can eventually cause the blood vessels and the pancreas to swell resulting in pancreatitis. It's an awfully painful and fatal inflammation of the pancreas. Alcohol gets metabolized into cancerous particles that hurt the pancreatic ducts. The damaged tissue promotes inflammation, which only makes things worse. Alcohol in stomach. Too much alcohol can wear down the lining of your stomach and increase the production of stomach acids. This acid contributes to ulcers. Around 20% of alcohol in your bloodstream is absorbed by your stomach. Drinking a small amount stimulates your appetite by increasing the flow of digestive juices. Drinking too much will impact your appetite and lead to malnutrition. Gastric juices mix with high alcohol content and irritate your stomach. You may feel nauseated and throw up. The impact of alcohol on the stomach is the main reason heavy drinkers don't get the nutrients they need. Alcoholic gastritis can develop once alcohol begins to hurt the stomach lining. Alcoholic gastritis can cause the stomach to bleed or develop ulcers. You may also experience pain or discomfort in the upper abdomen. Feel like you're missing out? Make sure you join our viewers by hitting that subscribe button and staying up to date on all our great lovers of good health content. Acute pancreatitis refers to painful attacks that develop suddenly and last for a few days. This usually happens due to alcohol abuse, but weirdly enough. Research shows that drinking just once can increase your chances of acute pancreatitis. In the United States, one in every three cases of acute pancreatitis is caused by alcohol. Alcohol in the heart. There's a popular belief that red wine is good for your heart, but that's not really true. Heavy drinking is linked to a number of health problems, including heart conditions. Excessive drinking can lead to high blood pressure, heart failure, or even stroke. Heavy drinking can also contribute to cardiomyopathy, a disorder that affects the heart muscle. Your heart is extremely vulnerable to the negative effects of booze. Over time, heavy drinking can weaken the heart. It affects how oxygen and nutrients are delivered to other vital organs. A few too many special pops can increase triglycerides, a type of fat in your blood. High levels of fat contribute to the development of things like heart disease and diabetes. Alcohol and the immune system. Have you ever caught a cold after a long weekend of partying? Well, drinking was probably the reason. Drinking every day or every other day can increase your chances of cold flu and other illness. You see, alcohol leaves your immune system badly bruised. Drinking will weaken your immunity, making your body a much easier target for disease. Heavy drinkers are more likely to develop diseases like pneumonia and tuberculosis. Drinking a lot on a single occasion slows your body's ability to ward off infections. This can last up to 24 hours after getting drunk. Alcohol ups your chances of becoming infected. Looking at the immune system, Researchers have found that booze can bring down your body's defense. This leaves it open to harmful particles. Alcohol can directly suppress immune response, and clinical studies have found alcohol abuse to be associated with infectious diseases. This is something to think about the next time you're planning a weekend bender. Yep, alcohol can do quite a bit of damage by cutting back. You can save yourself all this trouble Remember alcohol will damage your body in several ways. The good news is that within a year of quitting most damage can be reversed or at least improved. Here's what you need to know. Have you dealt with alcoholism? Are there any effective ways to battle it? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for your time and see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more contents like this one.
Bye for now. Did you know that smoking is the leading preventable cause of premature death in the United States, with about 480,000 deaths yearly? By 1964 it was official the US Surgeon General confirmed that cigarette smoking causes lung cancer. But in the next few decades that followed we learned that smoking is responsible for a heap of other awful diseases. Hey viewers! I'm Dr. Sophia Fahl and welcome to Lovers of Good Health channel. In today's video, we will be going through how smoking affects different organs in your body. But before we begin, kindly use some of the time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. Within 10 seconds of your first puff the toxic chemicals in tobacco smoke reach your brain, heart, and other organs. Smoking harms almost every part of your body and increases your risk of many diseases. It also affects how you look and feel, your finances, and the people close to you. In today's video, we'll tell you how smoking affects different parts of your body from lungs, heart, digestive system, eyes, to immune system and more. Watch until the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. Heart. Smoking damages the entire cardiovascular system. When nicotine hits the body it causes blood vessels to tighten, which restricts the flow of blood causing peripheral artery disease. Smoking lowers good cholesterol levels and raises blood pressure. This can result in stretching of the arteries and a buildup of bad cholesterol, or atherosclerosis. It also raises the risk of formation of blood clots, which increases risk of heart attacks and strokes. In the long term smokers are at a greater risk of blood cancer as well. What physical activities get your heart rate up? Tell us quickly down below in the comment section. Number 2. Lungs. Smoking damages the airways and small air sacs in your lungs. This damage starts soon after someone starts smoking and lung function continues to worsen as long as the person smokes. Still it may take years for the problem to become noticeable enough for lung disease to be diagnosed. Smoke damage in the lungs can lead to serious long-term lung disease such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD smoking can also increase the risk of lung infections such as pneumonia and tuberculosis. It can worsen some existing lung diseases such as asthma. Number 3. Fertility Problems Smoking cigarettes can damage a female's reproductive system and make it more difficult to get pregnant. This may be because tobacco and other chemicals in cigarettes affect hormone levels in males. The more cigarettes a person smokes and the longer they smoke the higher the risk of erectile dysfunction. It can also affect the quality of sperm, which reduces fertility. Number 4. Central Nervous System. One of the ingredients in tobacco is a mood-altering drug called nicotine. It reaches your brain in mere seconds and makes you feel more energized for a while, but as the effect wears off you feel tired and crave more. Nicotine is extremely habit-forming, which is why people find smoking so difficult to quit. Physical withdrawal from nicotine can impair your cognitive functioning and make you feel anxious, irritated, and depressed. Withdrawal can also cause headaches and sleep problems. Number 5. Digestive System. Smoking increases the risk of mouth, throat, larynx, and esophageal cancer. Smokers have a higher rate of pancreatic cancer. Even people who smoke, but don't inhale face an increased risk of mouth cancer. Smoking also has an effect on insulin making it more likely that you'll develop insulin resistance that puts you at an increased risk of type 2 diabetes and its complications. Which tend to develop at a faster rate than in people who don't smoke. Feel like you're missing out. Make sure you join our viewers by hitting that subscribe button and staying up to date on all of our great lovers of good health content. Number 6. Eyes. 
Smoking drastically affects your eyes. They may start drooping and become watery. Additionally, your eye's ability to perceive objects is greatly reduced. In addition, cigarette smoking also leads to some conditions related to loss of vision, macular degeneration, glaucoma, and various eye-related diseases. It exposes the eyes to a dual threat, which is internal, as well as external. When you smoke a cigarette, the smoke gathers into your eyes, and the exhaled smoke causes further irritation to them. Additionally, smoking reduces the flow of blood to your eyes, which further disables antioxidants from reaching the optic nerve. Number 7. Skin. The skin is the largest organ in the body, and even if it gets damaged due to smoking it damages the chemistry of the skin layers. So a smoker looks older as compared to their peers. Smoking is responsible for toughening of the skin, fine lines and wrinkles on the face. It can also give you stretch marks on your body. These problems are caused due to the dying suppleness of the skin due to smoking. As a matter of fact, smokers are highly prone to developing skin cancer as compared to non-smokers. Smoking triggers other skin diseases such as psoriasis, skin warts, and poor wound healing. Our skin is the body's first layer of defense against attack of bacteria and viruses. As per a study people, who smoke a packet of cigarettes a day over a period of 20 years, have doubled the risk of developing psoriasis. Number 8. Circulatory System. Smoking products contain many toxins, which can damage our body. These toxins are worse when combined along with cigarettes. They include carbon monoxide, hydrogen cyanide, free radicals, and metals like lead tar and radioactive compounds. Carbon monoxide affects our blood directly by hindering oxygen's transportation to the organs. Free radicals increase your bad cholesterol levels. When this happens the blood vessels narrow down for receiving oxygen and the nutrients. All our major organs like our brain, heart, muscles, and the tissues depend on proper circulation of the blood. Other organs like the liver also need proper circulation of blood for transporting the toxins out of the body. Decreased circulation of blood causes hypertension, blood clots, increased heart rate, and arterial wall buildup, along with lowered body temperature. Additionally, low blood circulation can lead to problems in your fingers and toes. So amputation may be needed in serious cases. Number 9. Ear and mouth. Smoking takes a toll on your mouth. Smokers have more oral health problems than non-smokers. Like mouth sores, ulcers, and gum disease. You're more likely to have cavities and lose your teeth at a younger age. You're also more likely to get cancers of the mouth and throat. Smoking also reduces the oxygen supply to the cochlea. A snail-shaped organ in the inner ear. This can result in permanent damage to the cochlea and mild to moderate hearing loss. Number 10. Belly. Smokers have bigger bellies and less muscle than non-smokers. As a smoker you are more likely to develop type 2 diabetes even if you don't smoke every day. Smoking also makes it harder to control diabetes once you already have it. Diabetes is a serious disease that can lead to blindness heart disease, kidney failure, and amputations. Number 11. Cancer. Your body is made up of cells that contain genetic material or DNA. These act as an instruction manual for cell growth and function. Every single puff of a cigarette causes damage to your DNA. When DNA is damaged the instruction manual gets messed up and the cell can begin growing out of control and create a cancer tumor. Your body tries to repair the damage that smoking does to your DNA, but over time smoking can wear down this repair system and lead to cancer of the lungs. One third of all cancer deaths are caused by tobacco. Cancer is a deadly disease which starts showing signs at an early age. Number 12. 
Fatty deposits. Smoking increases the cholesterol and unhealthy fats circulating in the blood leading to unhealthy fatty deposits. Over time cholesterol fats and other debris build up on the walls of your arteries. This buildup narrows the arteries and blocks normal blood flow to the heart, brain, and legs. Backed blood flow to your heart or brain can cause a heart attack or stroke. Blockage in the blood vessel of your legs could result in amputation of your toes or feet. Number 13. Muscles and bones. When you smoke less blood and oxygen flows to your muscles. This makes it harder to build muscles. The lack of oxygen also makes muscles tire more easily. Smokers have more muscle aches and pains than non-smokers. Ingredients in cigarette smoke disrupt the natural cycle of bone health. Your body is less able to form healthy new bone tissue, and it breaks down existing bone tissue more rapidly over time. Smoking leads to thinning of bone tissue and loss of bone density. This causes bones to become weak and brittle compared to non-smokers. Smokers have a higher risk of bone fractures and their bones take longer to heal. Number 14. Immune system. When you smoke the number of white blood cells in your body stays high. This is a sign that your body is under stress constantly fighting against inflammation and damage caused by tobacco. A high white blood cell count is like a signal from your body letting you know you've been injured. When it stays elevated for a long time it increases the risk of heart attacks, strokes and cancer. Cigarette smoke contains high levels of tar and other chemicals which can make your immune system less effective at fighting off infections. This means you're more likely to get sick. Continued weakening of the immune system can make you more vulnerable to autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid, arthritis, and multiple sclerosis. It also decreases your body's ability to fight off cancer because smoke causes your blood vessels to tighten. It decreases the levels of nutrients supplied to the wounds. As a result, wounds take longer to heal. Slow wound healing increases the risk of infection after an injury or surgery and painful skin ulcers can develop causing the tissue to slowly die. One of the worst affected organs because of smoking are your lungs. Do you smoke? Have you ever tried giving it up? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for your time and see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more contents like this one. Bye for now. Hey viewers. I'm Dr. Sophia Fahl and welcome to Lovers of Good Health channel. In today's video, we will be going through the 17 common bad habits that are aging you quickly. But before we begin kindly use some of the time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. Who doesn't want to look and feel young? Whether you like it or not there's no way to stop the clock. Getting older is an inevitable part of being a mortal creature. But there are some habits in your day-to-day -day life that are causing you to feel and look older than you actually are. In today's video we'll tell you all about these habits that are making your body age faster so that you can avoid them completely and slow down the aging process. From not getting enough sleep, eating unhealthy food, being stressed all the time, to not taking proper care of your skin and more. Keep watching till the end to see them all. Number 1. Too much stress. We all have stress in our lives whether it's a demanding job or difficulties in our personal lives. How we manage the ups and downs of life matters. But chronic stress can take a toll on your health impairing the immune system and speeding up the aging process. Prioritizing stress management should be among the first steps of your anti-aging plan. Whenever possible remove yourself from the stressful environment, even a short break from whatever is causing you anxiety can put things into perspective. Additionally starting a low-key meditation practice is a great tool for staying calm when you can't control your environment. 
This will lower your stress levels and slow down aging. Number 2. Exfoliating too often. Removing dead skin cells once in a while is not a bad thing, and you should practice deep exfoliation just once a month when you're young. If you do it more often you'll make the cell turnover rate happen faster than your skin can keep up with and end up removing nice healthy cells before they are ready to go. Young skin has a thin epidermis and a thick dermis, which is why it looks firm, unwrinkled, and has a nice glow. Older skin has a thick epidermis from collecting dead skin cells, which is why some exfoliation is beneficial, and a thin dermis, which is why older skin gets wrinkles. For exfoliation use retinol nightly if your skin is thin or damaged. It normalizes skin cell development and returns skin to what it was when it was younger. Number 3. Terrible Sleep Schedule By now you probably know that an all-sleep, when-I-die mentality screws with a bunch of different aspects of your life that includes how fast you age. Further proving that, this busy sleep-sapping world just isn't fair. Science suggests that the less you snooze the faster your brain ages. But before you demand regular nap breaks at work know this. Sleeping too much may also accelerate aging. Counterintuitive seems like it, but it's true and could equal about 4 to 7 years of actual aging. In some cases sleeping more than usual might be a sign of depression, a disorder that's been linked to fast-track cellular aging, or maybe when you sleep that much you don't have a normal activity period in the rest of your life. Either way you should not sleep too much or too little, just the optimum amount, which is about 7 to 9 hours per night. Number 4. Slouching. Sitting up straight with your shoulders back is a strong indicator of the way you'll age including the level of independence you may have when you're older. A study found that those whose spines were more hunched forward were over three times more likely to need assistance. Bad posture can lead to painful joints and arthritis and internal problems. This can cause you to age faster. Number 5. Smoking. It's certainly no secret that smoking is bad for your health, but did you know it's bad for your looks too? Studies show that in addition to shortening your life by increasing your risk of heart and lung disease, Smoking can activate enzymes that break down the elasticity of your skin making you look older than you really are. Even if you're a closet smoker the fine wrinkles and aging that cigarettes cause can give you away just one more reason to cut out those smokes. Number 6. Skipping fruits and veggies. It's true that as you get older you need fewer calories however, if you want to have a spring in your step, and the glow of healthy aging rather than a drawn complexion with wrinkles. You need to get those calories from good nutritious sources. A junk food or meat and potatoes diet just won't cut it and the best sources are lots of colorful fruits and vegetables. Also be sure your diet includes fish with heart healthy omega-3 fatty acids as well as plenty of fiber from whole grains. Number 7 not getting enough physical activity regular physical activity is a healthy aging essential for many things from staving off heart disease to keeping stress at bay but one of the main reasons to keep exercising is to prevent injury an injury that limits mobility and your independence is a potentially life-threatening blow to your health research shows that just 30 minutes of walking three times a week can lower your risk for a fall the leading cause of disabling injuries in seniors. So break the sloth habit and get moving. Number 8. Trying fad diets. Those worried about living healthier often start by eating healthier, but jumping on the latest fad diet can have the exact opposite result especially since a diet that involves serious changes to your eating habits usually. Doesn't stick and often just leads to the next fad diet. Yo-yo dieting can contribute to a loss of fat-free mass, which is the muscle and bone in the long term. A study showed that loss of fat-free mass can lead to poor mobility, increased fall risk, and lower overall strength. 
Number 9. Using Chemical Infused Skin Care Products The skin care products you use every day could be hiding some seriously scary ingredients. Many beauty and skin care items contain hormone-disrupting chemicals such as thalli, parabens, pesticides and plastics. These chemicals can mimic hormones destroy others and cause internal signaling issues leading to premature cell death. This causes you to age faster than normal. Try to find the safest and best products for your skin after researching because what you put on it is absorbed into your body. Number 10. Working out too much. While exercise is key to a long and healthy life, there is such a thing as too much exercise. When you exercise too hard or too frequently this means your muscles never have time to fully recover this can lead to inflammation, poor sleep, and a compromised immune system. All of which can speed up your body's aging especially for women, as they age the stress caused by excessive exercise can raise cortisol levels and lead to hormone imbalances depending on your age. You'll want to space out your workouts anywhere from 24 to 36 hours apart. Number 11. Drinking soda. When it comes to aging yourself soda is just as bad for your brain as for your other organs. In one study researchers found that daily soda consumption is associated with decreased brain volume and decreased memory function. What's more, in a follow-up study it was also found that people who drank diet soda were nearly three times more likely to have a stroke or heart attack than those who have never consumed the sugary beverage. Number 12. Excess sunbathing. As amazing as that sun feels on your body, sunbathing or tanning is one of the worst things you can do for your skin besides the risk of cancer. Excessive UV ray exposure weakens your skin cells and blood vessels, which causes that tanned leathery look you see on people who've spent their entire lives outdoors. It can even make your skin more susceptible to bruising. So how do you protect yourself? Sunscreen. A study showed that regular daily application of sunscreen can fight wrinkles, reduce the risk of developing skin cancer, and keep your skin smooth and resilient. Number 13. Drinking too much coffee. Drinking coffee is a major part of many people's daily lives, but your java habit may be aging you. Coffee lowers DA, which is a hormone that keeps your appearance youthful and reduces inflammation levels of this critical hormone start to drop naturally as you age, and coffee accelerates the process. Limit yourself to 1 to 2 cups a day max. Number 14. Eating junk food. Everyone knows that junk food is bad for you, but eating processed low-nutrient foods regularly can age you faster than you can imagine. It's mostly empty calories contains a lot of salt and also has a good amount of bad cholesterol, all of which contribute to aging. Eating a diet full of fiber-rich fruits, vegetables, and whole grains like the Mediterranean diet helps you sleep better and protects against stress, two things that will help you look and feel younger. Number 15. Eating big meals. Eating large meals more than twice a week can accelerate aging because overindulging puts oxidative stress on your cells. Eating small regular meals and reducing food intake by 50 or more can help slow down the aging process. Less energy is needed by your body to digest the food and can be utilized for other more valuable metabolic processes that help improve cell and organ health. Number 16. Drinking too much alcohol. While a glass of wine every now and then is no cause for alarm regular drinking can cause you to look much older than you truly are. Alcohol is a natural diuretic which means that the more you drink the more dehydrated you become. Your body relies on healthy fluids like water in order for it to perform its normal body processes. Insufficient hydration leads to damage to your organs and premature aging of your skin. By limiting your alcohol intake to one drink a day, you reduce the amount of work that your liver needs to do to flush out toxins and impurities from your body. 
The texture and moisture of your complexion will improve you will lose unwanted pounds and your sleep will become more restful. Number 17. Sitting a lot. You may think a construction job is dangerous, but experts have found that working a desk job may put your health in a similar amount of danger. According to an analysis of 1 million men and women, researchers found that sitting for at least 8 hours a day could increase your risk of premature death by up to 60%. Heart disease and cancer were the top causes of death linked to an inactive lifestyle. But prolonged periods of sitting have also been connected to low blood circulation, poor blood sugar regulation, and high cholesterol levels, which set the stage for age-related diseases. A good thing that the research also found was, those who sat for eight hours or more a day and also engaged in at least an hour's worth of exercise, such as moderate walking reduced their risk of mortality by nearly 40% compared to those who didn't move at all. Do you have any of these habits that we talked about today? Will you be cutting down? Let us know in the comments section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share and subscribe to Lovers of Good Health channel. Thanks for your time and see you on the next one. Bye for now.